Hello everyone. How are you all? Hi Samia. Hi Bharti. Hi Arhan. Hi Hathar. How are you? Hello. Fine. Fine. Good. Just a second. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to discuss few questions with you. Just a second. Let me see on my screen. Yes, everyone. Please turn on your camera. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So there are few questions which I have taken out and I want to discuss it with you all. Just a moment. Two digit number is four more than six times the sum of its digits. Write a linear equation in two variable to express this statement. Please do it now.
Yeah. Let's discuss it. Okay. Let's continue. Here the question says that a two-digit number is four more than six times the sum of its digits. Okay. Whenever this type of question will be there, no, there is a two-digit number. Of course, first thing which will come in our mind is to take x into y, uh, x y as a two-digit number, not into x y as a two-digit number. This is how we write in general two-digit number. If in real life a two-digit number looks like twenty-seven, a two-digit number looks like eighteen, a two-digit number looks like, for example, twenty-five. So, if you have to assume a two-digit number, you will assume something like this, right? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes or no? yes. You will assume something like this. But let me tell you, please don't assume like this because here twenty-seven is clear. It is twenty-seven. Here eighteen is clear. It is eighteen. Here twenty-five is clear. We will call it twenty-five only. But here x y will be there, no? Whoever will see this, they will think that you have taken x into y, which is not true. Which is not true. We don't want to write x into y. We want to write a two-digit number. Okay, a two-digit number. But when we will write it as a x one, it will become x into y. Okay, whoever will see, they will think that it is x into y. So to make the to keep it more clear, we will write our two-digit number. Like this, how? Like this in expanded form. The way twenty-seven can be written as two into ten plus seven into one. The way eighteen can be written can also be written as one into ten plus eight. The way twenty-five can be written as two into ten tens place. Two is at tens place and five is at ones place. Similarly, x y we will be writing as x into ten plus one. If you will write your two-digit number as a x into ten plus y, or maybe ten x plus y, it will be clear to the person also. Whoever will see your solution. Are you getting my point? That x y we will not write. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Rather than x y, whenever the question will be about two-digit number in class ten, in class eleven. You will be having question where a two-digit number will be there, and whenever a two-digit number will be there, we will say it is x y. We will not say because that looks like x into y. So we will keep it more clear. We will say that it is x into ten plus y. That means we are assuming x at tens place and y at ones place. Okay. So here will be, or you can, or or the other possibilities. You are thinking about a two-digit number like this. Y you are keeping at tens place, and X you are keeping at ones place. So if you are, if you want to take the assumption like this, please write the expanded form of this one. That your two-digit number is ten into Y plus X. That means your two-digit number is ten Y plus X. Okay. So you, either you can say. Your two-digit number is ten x plus y, or your two-digit number is ten y plus x. Okay, let's take our two-digit number in this manner. That a two-digit number is four more. Okay, a two-digit number is ten x plus y. This is how we are writing our two-digit number. Why we are writing it like this? We understand why we are writing it like this. This is just the expanded form, right? Yes. Now a two-digit number. This is our assumption is four more than six times the sum of its digit. Sum of its digit means sum of the digits means x plus y, right? Sum of the digit of two-digit number will be x plus y. Just we are adding the digit place value. We are not thinking. We are just taking the digits and we are adding them. That is x plus y. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Let's let's read it very well, very carefully. So a two-digit number is four more. A two-digit number is four more, four more than, four more than something. This two-digit number is means is equal to 
is means is equals to a two digit number that means 10x plus y is means is equals to four more than four added to something than what six times six times means six into sum of its digit that means x plus y let's break the statement a two digit number 10x plus y is means is equals to four more that means four added to something that's called four more than four more than what six times so six multiplied with the sum of its digit x plus y yes or no yes ma'am and this is our linear equation in two bit this is our linear equation in two variable that a two digit number according to our assumption this is the number we have taken in assumption is is means is equals to four more than six times the sum of its digit now we will open the bracket we will apply the distributive property we will keep x and y we will basically we will write the standard format of linear equation in two variable ax plus by plus c is equals to zero this is what we want to create from here let's create it tell me what are we going to get please tell me quickly meanwhile i am writing the other question A and B are friends. A is older. Five, five years. Looks like it is a linear pair of linear equation we will be getting from here. Okay, let me write it anyhow. Four x minus five y is equals to four. Uh, six yes four x six y yes minus five. Y. Yeah, perfect. Heather. Yes, we are supposed to write the equation which we have generated. No, we are supposed to write it in the standard form. Every time, whenever a statement will be given, and whatever you are generating, at last you have to leave your answer with the linear equation in two variables, standard form. Okay. Let me write this question. We'll be discussing it.
okay let's do it we'll be discussing here it says that it says that a and b are friends a and b are friends okay okay a and b are friends now a is older to b by 5 years that means age of a is 5 year more than age of b right right yes right. ma'am okay if a is older to b by 5 year that means age of a is 5 year more than b age of a is 5 year more than more than b we understood are we going to take the assumption now no at first we will read it that is a is dependent uh, on b it's written the statement is given like that we'll be talking about it now let's read the next part c is half the age of b now c is also dependent on b okay the age of c is dependent on age of b that's how the statement is framed okay why a's father d is 8 year older than twice the age of b so everyone is dependent on a, b so let's assume that b is age at first b is age we are going to assume as x okay age of b is x now let's read it a is older to b by 5 years that means can we take a's age will be x plus 5 yes or no a is 5 year older than b yes or no can we take it like this a is 5 year older than b if i am if i am 10 years older than you that means your age plus 10 that will be my age right right yes ma'am okay similarly here a is a is 5 year older than b a is older to b by 5 year that means a is 5 year older than b b is age plus 5 that is that will be a's age now c is half the age of b c is age will be half the age of b that's it okay by a's father d okay d is also there in this story d is also there. d is the father of a d is the father of a that's what is written over here a's father d is 8 year older 8 year older than than what than twice the age of b twice the age of b are you getting it a's yes, father d is 8 year older that means plus 8 to something then twice the age of b that is 2x okay two times the age of b if present age of d is 48 year if present age of d is whatever we have taken the assumption this 2x plus 8 if this is 48 years then we have to find a b c c it's simple from here we'll be able to find x value it is linear equation in one variable right yes right sir. finding the solution is very simple only understanding the statement was like a little bit tricky okay so we understand this type of whenever this type of statement will be there not only now in future also whenever this type of statement is there that there are three four person and the first person is dependent on one of them the second is also dependent on the same the third is also dependent on the same maybe the half of the age or two years more or two times the age of the person and then six years more there will be one person and everybody will be dependent on the same person so that means you have to take that person's age assumption at first here we can see a is the age of a is dependent on b age of c is dependent on b age of d is dependent on b so everyone's age is given in such a way that it is just dependent on b that's why we are taking 
at first let's assume that these ages x years now quick 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 we are able to find if b is x years old then a will be x plus 5 then c will be x by 2 then d will be 2, x plus 8 now it is given that actual age of b is 48 years so whatever according to our assumption age of b is 2x plus 8 according to the question age of b is 48 years we can compare it right if we will compare it, we will end up getting the x value. Let's take out the x value from here. So, 48 minus 8, 2x will be. Please take out the x value and tell me, no, what are you getting as a x value? Yes. X is 20. Yeah. X is 20. So B is B is 20 years old. A is A is X plus 5. X is 20 plus 5. A is 25 years old. And C is C is X by 2. We have written over here. That means C is 10 years old. Any confusion so far? This is basic word problem which may be not uh, this type of question, but linear equation in one variable, that word problem from the, this particular portion, you have already done in the previous class, right? Right? Yes, Students, if this question will come, you cannot say this is not from your syllabus. It is from your syllabus because you are having the concept of solving linear equation in one variable. You know how to solve this type of equation. Here, how to take the assumption that is that can be tricky, but if you will understand, this is not that difficult. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's do the next question. Four years before age of a mother. was three times the age of her daughter write a linear equation We'll be doing it together. Whenever this type of age related question will be there, no? you always you will start the uh, assumption with let's assume that how many people are there? Mother is there, daughter is there. So you will assume that let's let's say now, okay, at present is age of mother is X, and at present age of daughter is Y. Why we'll be taking the assumption in present? Why not four year before only we will be saying that four year before mother age was X. Okay, and that time daughter age was Y. This is how why not we are taking the assumption. Please don't do this mistake. Okay, whenever we'll be solving age related question, in a single question you will find so many scenarios. Four year before, four year after, eight year after. So this will create confusion. That's why to just maintain the clarity, whenever we solve age-related question, always we start the assumption with present. That at present, mother's age is X. At present, daughter's age is Y. Now, if you if we have to go four years back, we can we understand how to go, what to write at the place of age. Okay, if now age is, suppose... At present, at present, we are taking mother's age as a X. We are assuming it, okay? Then can you tell me four years before age of the mother? X minus four. X minus four, okay? If now her age is X, then four years, like uh, 
before four year the age must be x minus four this is how in real life the age works right if today you are having a certain age then one year before the age was one less then two year before the age was two less three year before the age was three less so if at present mother's age is x then four year before we can we can write it x minus four okay and at present daughter's age also let's assume as y then what i am explaining this is very simple i i am just trying to explain that whenever we will be solving age related question you always start your assumption with present question in question even if it is talking about Eight year after, four year before, whatever it is talking about in question, you start your assumption that at present this person is having X year, that that person is having Y year at present. Okay, daughter's age at present we are assuming as a. Well. Are you understanding what I am trying to say, students? Yes, ma'am. Now let's read the question very carefully. That four year before age of mother was okay. Four year before age of mother was x minus four. Four year before mother's age was now it is x. Then four year ago it must be x minus four. Three times the age of her daughter. Okay, three times the age of her daughter is whatever age the daughter was having at that particular time. That's three times. Okay, that means four year ago daughter's age also we have to take. Y minus four. Now, according to question, let's read the question very carefully. It says that four year before age of the mother was four year before age of the mother is x minus four. That was three times the age of her daughter. Three times the age of daughter at that particular time. This one. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Is it clear? Now, from here, we just have to write it. The standard form of linear equation in two variables. That means a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. That form it will be checked. Please do it now. Meanwhile, I am writing one other question. What are you getting?
Yes. What you got from the previous equation? X x is equals to three y minus eight. Yeah. Yes, only Hader is responding. Rest of the student, what are you doing? Arhan, Bharti, Samya. I don't understand the question. Which one? Previous one. Yes. Yes. Why? Uh, when I was explaining you, why do you didn't say that you are not getting? Arhan, you said right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here the question says that four years before, age of the mother was three times the age of the daughter. Write it in linear equation in two ways. I say to you, whenever Jaffi, you understand Hindi also, right? Arhan? Yes. Okay, so, uh, Heather, you don't understand Hindi, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm, uh, I'll be uh, explaining the same in English also. So, I'm saying, uh, everyone, okay, that Jaffi, you age related questions solve karne. तो क्वेश्चन में कुछ भी लिखा हुआ फोर ईयर चार साल पहले चार साल बाद तीन साल पहले तीन साल बाद आठ साल पहले दस साल बाद जो भी वो क्वेश्चन सबसे पहले हम लोग यही अज्यूम करेंगे कि जो भी पर्सन है ओके रोहन सोहन मदर डॉटर जो भी उस उसका प्रेजेंट एज हम लोग अज्यूम करेंगे बात जब की भी हो दस टेन ईयर्स After 10 years or before 10 years, जो भी क्वेश्चन में लिखा हो लेकिन हम लोग अपना assumption हमेशा start करेंगे present year assume करें present age okay present age of mother is x here two persons are there mother and daughter so we will say present age of mother is x and present age of daughter is y ये सिर्फ इस particular question में ही नहीं कर रहे ऐसा एज रिलेटेड कोई भी क्वेश्चन होगा तो ऑलवेज वी विल स्टार्ट आवर अजम्पन विद द प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ द पर्सन ओके यू कैन टेक इट एक्स वाई जेड के बट स्टार्ट द अजम्पन विद द प्रेजेंट एज नाउ आफ्टर टेकिंग द अजम्पन सी वी हैव टेकिंग द अजम्पन दैट प्रेजेंट एज दैट मीन्स एट एट प्रेजेंट नाउ एज ऑफ मदर इज एक्स and at present now age of daughter is one now we will read the question without even reading we have taken this two assumption okay now we will read the question very carefully it says that four year before age of mother so if at present mother is x years so old then four year before her age will be x minus 4 yes or no arhan yes Okay, so four year before age of mother, this will be x minus one was three times was means is equals to at that time it was is equals to three times that means three into age of the daughter daughter's age daughter's age present age or that particular time only daughter's age so yeah that particular time okay the time frame. Which is mentioned for the mother four year before. This is not only for mother. This is for daughter also. ये four year before चार साल पहले की बात हो रही है. How in the picture it shows that fifteen year later. Now completely a new scenario they start showing to us, and we just start taking all the information given to us in the video format that. We we just start thinking in future, okay? That okay, fifteen year later, these are the things which is going, which is happening in front of us in the movie, right? Yes. Right? Okay. Here also, four year before, when the this 
this uh, timeline is given that four year before it is applicable for the mother as well it is applicable for the daughter as well that four year four years before ki baat ho rahi hai ab us time mother ka jo age hai wo three times daughter ke age ke barabar hai to humne dono ka hi age four years pehle le rakha hai and we have done the comparison we ended up getting one linear equation in two variables is it clear arhan bharti samya टाइम one of the statement is talking about 4 year ago another statement is talking about 10 year hence next statement is talking about at present so two equation three equation was generated that's why to keep the clarity we always start the assumption with the present age am i making sense to all of you yes ma'am Yes, Samia, Bharti, and Arhan. Yes, Miss. So yeah, let's do this one. This is how we got linear equation in two variables. Now we just have to write it in a standard form. That is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, a point two comma three. A point two comma three lies on graph of linear equations. This point is lying on this. That means it's a solution. If you have attended my class of linear equation in two variable, then I must have explained that what is exactly actually the meaning of solution is yes or no. And if I have not explained, then let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, just give me a moment. Can you see this graph paper? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will draw few equations for x minus y is equal to twenty two. Just can you see the graph? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And solution. What is the solution? That's all the point sitting on this graph. Just. just Keep on to see how the points are changing. All the points sitting on this graph. These are the solution of this equation. Check it. I will pause for a while. Can you see two comma zero is a solution? And yes, we understand solution means it will satisfy the equation. X value, y value. When you will put two comma zero, it will satisfy the equation. It will come out as a right hand side. Yes or no? Yes, okay. yes. This is just one point I am showing. How many solutions are there? You always answer that linear equation in two variable has infinitely many solution, right? And these are all the infinitely many solution. Let me show you. These are all the solution. Can you see how how quickly the coordinates are changing? Can you see? What I'm trying to show, मैं यहाँ पे दिखा रही हूँ कि देखो ये सारे ही solutions हैं कैसे quick 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 सारे uh, different different points हम लोग देख पा रहे हैं solution इसी को बोलते हैं solution का मतलब कि graph पे कौन कौन से points सारे बैठे हुए हैं और ये सारे points जितने points हैं जो कि बहुत सारे हैं बहुत सारे there are infinitely many points sitting on this graph. okay these are all called the solution of this particular equation if you want to check check it 
x and y value i have again paused and you can see on this screen minus 0.91 and minus 2.91 when you will take this x and y value it will satisfy our equation that's why you write every time linear equation in two variable has one solution two solution three solution infinitely many solution and you mark that infinitely many solutions are there yes or no yes or no yes ma'am okay so infinitely many solution means this graph is just it's keep on going on top and towards the bottom also it will just continue and continue and continue and continue that's why we see there are so many solutions there are infinitely many solutions okay and if you understand if i will show you the other graph you will see suppose 2x plus 5 is equals to 20 20 i am taking big number that's why the graph is just shifting like that and i have to just uh, i have to minimize everything to show you the actual the smaller number it is more visible so you can see the the graph okay here 0 comma 2 is there 1 comma 0 is there check it these two points are going to satisfy our equation and apart from this two points so many other points are also there. now if you understand it you will be able to solve this equation uh, you will be able to understand this question here it says that the point 2 comma 3 lie on the graph that means it's a solution right yes or no yes miss yes ma'am okay it says that why I shown you the same graph again and again I am showing you in each and every class because here the question says that this point lies on the graph of this. That means this point we can put in this equation because it's a solution. Ayana, yes or no? Yes ma'am. Yes. Okay. This equation is given to us and if 2 comma 3 lies on this graph that means 2 comma 3 is a solution 2 comma 3 is a solution then we are free to go ahead and put x as a 2 and y as a 3 since 2 comma 3 lies on the graph that means it's one of the solution it is one of the solution of the given equation why one of the solution because so many solutions are there and from here one we are happy. two comma three let's substitute x as a two y as a three but what we have to do over here in this particular question. Okay, let's read what we have to do. This much we are able to figure it out. We are understanding this much just by reading the first statement. Let's read it. If the same point also lie on the graph of this. Okay, the same point lies on this graph also. Then find the value of V. Whatever we have done so far. Does it look like that we can find a value from here? Yes or no? Students, does it look like we will be able to find a value from here? Yes or no? This yes. a minus 1 into 3 means distributive property. Doesn't matter 3 is sitting in front or 3 is sitting afterwards. It's the same thing. Okay, this will be 3a minus 3 and this will also be 3a minus 3. So, please don't get confused that 3 is sitting over here. What to do? We will do the multiplication by distributive property. We will be writing 3a minus 3. Getting it? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. It will be 3a minus 3. But... There is a subtraction sign in front, so we are careful. If you want, you can keep bracket now and then you can open. 
is equal to 2a minus 1, 6 minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 2a minus 1. This minus 3a and 2a, we can collect them and we, we can try finding the a value. Please tell me quickly, quickly, what is the a value? Miss, when you pick two, a value you are getting two. Let's check it. Minus three, minus two, minus five. Okay, everything we can put on the other side. So six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine only we are getting over here, which will go to other side. Minus nine. Yes, yes, it will be two. Okay, it will be just two. Minus 10 by minus 5 is just a value we know, but we do we are not supposed to find a value over here. We have to find b value, but the condition is the same point lies on this graph. 2, 3 is a point which is lying on the first graph. It is lying on the second graph also. 5x. Second equation I'm writing. Plus 1 minus 2 y is equals to 3p. Such a beautiful question. See, 2 comma 3 is a point which is lying on the first graph, which is lying on the second graph also, and hence find b. From the first scenario, we will be able to find a. That a value we will be able to use over here. And since 2 comma 3 also lies, 2 comma 3 is a solution or lies